In Akwaibum, the State House of Assembly resumed plenary after the long Eid El Fitr celebration. During its plenary session, the House deliberated on the executive bill aimed at amending the Independent Electoral Act of 2022, which successfully passed its second reading. The bill seeks to amend critical sections, including provision of a three year term to duly elected local government officials. ADBN correspondent David E. Song completes the report. The House, after three days' holiday, declared to mark this year's Eid El Fatri celebration, resumed the legislative duties with a bill for a law to amend the Independent Electoral Act 2022. The legislative duties began immediately after the clerk of the House, Mrs. Nsikakabasi Orok, read a message from the Governor, Pastor Moino, seeking an amendment of the Independent Electoral Laws. The Speaker, Akwaibom State House of Assembly, Udodoma Avenue, Uyo. Mr. Speaker, read a bill for a law to amend the Independent Electoral Commission Law, Cap 69, Laws of Akwaibom State 2022, and for other matters connected thereto. The Speaker, Right Honorable Demi Odong, then called for an accelerated hearing of the bill from first to second reading, thereafter inviting its sponsor and Deputy Leader of the House, Honorable Otobong Bob, to read some amended provisions of the bill. The Commission shall not later than 180 days, but not less than 90 days before the day appointed for holding an election under this law, publish a notice in the state stating the date of the election and communicate same to all political parties, appoint a place where nom nomination papers are to be delivered, that the Commission shall have the power to conduct local government elections every three years, provided that the Commission is not prevented from conducting elections by reasons of war, unrest, persistent or recurrent violence, or any other situation. Some members of the House supported the bill, noting that it will give political parties the opportunity to participate in local government elections and also make elected officials accountable to the people. It is therefore pertinent for us to have a stable, tenured elected officers at the level of the local government so that they will be accountable to the people of that local government. In doing these elections, we'll give all political parties the time, the chance, but let them also run and... After deliberations by members of the House, the Speaker declared the bill read a second time and committed to the House Committee on Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs. It has been moved and duly seconded that a bill for a law to amend the Independent Electoral Commission Law Cap 69 laws of acquired state 2022 and for other matters connected there will be read the second time those in favor say aye those against say nay the aye serve it the bill is accordingly read the second time and committed to the house committee on local government and chieftaincy affairs to report back to the to this house in less than four days the amendment bill makes provision for local government elections to hold on December 7 of every election year. David Isong, ADBN News.